It was the summer after her 26th birthday, when Isabella decided to spend a few months with her Aunt Claire in the countryside. She had just gone through a difficult breakup and thought getting away from the city for a while would help clear her head. After the two-hour drive, Isabella arrived at her Aunt Claire's quaint cottage on a Friday afternoon. Aunt Claire was already waiting on the porch, waving excitedly when she saw Isabella's car pull into the long, winding driveway. Bella, so glad you made it, Aunt Claire said as she wrapped Isabella in a warm hug. The familiar scent of Claire's coconut shampoo brought back happy childhood memories for Isabella. The first week went by quietly as Isabella settled into the slower pace of country living. Each morning she would sleep in and then have a leisurely breakfast on the porch overlooking the lush green backyard. During the day, she explored the nearby hiking trails, went fishing by the creek, or helped Aunt Claire tend to her vegetable garden. In the evenings, they would cook dinner together using fresh ingredients from the garden while sipping on sweet iced tea. One evening while cooking dinner, Aunt Claire brought up Isabella's ex-boyfriend, James. Have you spoken to James since you've been here? she asked while slicing cucumbers from the garden. Isabella stiffened, not wanting to discuss him. No, and I'd prefer not to talk about it, she said tersely, focusing intently on stirring the pasta. Aunt Claire continued, I just think you should at least get closure with him after all this time. Isabella slammed her spoon down angrily. We broke up for a reason and he made it abundantly clear he didn't want to work things out. Can we please change the subject? Aunt Claire pursed her lips but dropped the matter as they finished making dinner in tense silence. The next morning, Aunt Claire told Isabella she needed to make an unexpected trip into the city and wanted her to come along. I have some errands to run and could use your help. We'll leave first thing in the morning, she said in an authoritative tone. Isabella was confused by her sudden firmness but agreed to go without asking any questions. In the car, Isabella could sense her aunt was up to something. As they drove past Aunt Claire's usual exit for the mall, Isabella sensed her aunt was up to something. Where are we going? She asked suspiciously. Oh, just a little detour, Aunt Claire replied vaguely. Isabella felt her guard go up, wondering what her eccentric aunt was scheming. After a few more miles, they pulled into the parking lot of a local barber shop called Frank's Cuts. Aunt Claire turned to Isabella and said sternly, Come with me inside. I need you to get your hair cut too. Isabella recoiled in shock. What? No way. I don't want to cut my hair, she protested. But Aunt Claire would not take no for an answer. Your hair is getting way too long and messy. A nice chop will do you good, she insisted. Isabella shook her head vigorously and crossed her arms. I'm not cutting it. I like my hair just the way it is she argued. Aunt Claire pursed her lips with determination. I've already made the appointment, so let's go. Don't be so stubborn, she scolded. She got out and walked briskly towards the barbershop entrance. Isabella felt her face flush with anger. How dare her aunt try to force her to cut her hair without even asking first? She sat defiantly in the car, making no motion to get out, after a few moments, Aunt Claire marched back to the car and yanked open Isabella's door. Let's go, young lady. Don't make me drag you inside, she snapped, her eyes flashing with authority. Isabella shrank under her harsh tone. She thought about making a run for it, but deep down knew her aunt would catch her. Reluctantly, she stepped out of the car as her aunt escorted her forcibly into the shop. As Isabella was escorted into the barber shop, she looked around and saw that it was completely empty except for her Aunt Claire sitting in one of the old barber chairs. Where is everyone? Isabella asked in confusion. I booked the whole shop just for us today, Aunt Claire replied cheerfully. Isabella felt her stomach drop, realizing it would be impossible to escape now. Just then, two stern-looking barbers in crisp white smocks came out from the back room. The tall, slender one introduced himself as Edgar, while the shorter, stocky one was called Buzz. Have a seat, miss. Buzz gestured at the empty barber chair next to Aunt Claire's. Isabella reluctantly sat down, cringing as the vinyl squeaked under her. Okay, gents, my niece here needs a good chop just like me, Aunt Claire proclaimed. No more than shoulder length, Isabella piped up quickly. The barbers exchanged an ominous look that gave Isabella chills. 
As Isabella sat in the barber chair, Aunt Claire turned to the two barbers and said sternly, After you chop my niece's hair into a bob, I want you to shave her head completely bald just like me. Isabella's jaw dropped open in horror. What? No, absolutely not, she objected in panic. But Aunt Claire shot her a threatening glare that meant business. Hush now, the barbers know what they're doing, she scolded. Isabella's eyes welled up with tears as the reality sunk in that she was getting her head shaved whether she liked it or not. Buzz pumped up Isabella's chair while Edgar fastened the cape snugly around her neck. Please, please don't do this, Isabella begged pitifully. But the barbers ignored her pleas as Buzz picked up his scissors and began hacking off chunks of her long chestnut locks. As her hair rained down around her, Isabella squeezed her eyes shut trying in vain to block out the nightmare unfolding. Within minutes, her hair was chopped into a blunt, chin-length bob. Very nice, Aunt Claire remarked approvingly. But keep going, I want to see scalp. Isabella shook with sobs as Buzz fired up his electric clippers. He tilted her head forward and began ruthlessly shearing off what remained of her hair. The clippers buzzed menacingly as they consumed her helpless locks. Isabella sat in shock, her newly shorn scalp tingling from the unfamiliar sensation of air. Just moments ago, she had a head full of long flowing locks. Now her head was jarringly bald, making her feel exposed and vulnerable. Before she could even process what had happened, her Aunt Claire said cheerfully, What a nice bald cut, but now it's my turn again. Isabella looked over to see her aunt's grinning face obscured by the barber cape. Shave my head nice and smooth, too, Aunt Claire directed the barbers. With pleasure, Buzz replied as he pumped up her chair even higher. Isabella watched in dismay as Edgar massaged Aunt Claire's bare head with creamy lather. She made no protest, unlike Isabella's desperate pleas just minutes earlier. With confident strokes, Buzz dragged the gleaming straight razor across Aunt Claire's scalp, scraping away the last traces of silver stubble. Isabella cringed at the scraping sound, imagining how horrid it would feel on her own raw scalp. Soon, Aunt Claire's head was baby bottom smooth, not a single hair left. She gleefully rubbed her bald scalp. Feels so liberating, she exclaimed.